Reverend Clark and the Minister of Harding and Amen. Robinson. Thank you for being with me in, in the ministry. Uh, to the choir, you sang so beautiful. Yeah. It's always good to hear those uh, Christmas songs to bring yeah. back a whole lot of memories and stir up a whole lot of things. And you look so beautiful today out here in your red, and it looks just, just, it just like Christmas time. All right. Glad to see you. Glad to see your smiling faces. I always say that. And to the ushers, thank you so much for the hospitality. And thank you, everybody. I'm so glad to be here with you this morning and to share a word that the Lord has put on my my heart. So if you will, would you turn with me to John chapter 1. John chapter 1, verses 12 through 14. John chapter 1. Verses 12 through 14. Amen. This is where our words lifted. This, this yeah. And we prepared for this Christmas message and to share with you. John is always a good oh. chapter when we talk about the word. Yeah. Starting at verse 12. Are you there? Amen. 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 But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Well, even to them that believe on his name. Uh -huh. Which was born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but, but of God. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Yes, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you again this beautiful thank first you, Sunday in December to come again and to thank you for all the blessings that you have yeah. bestowed upon us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word because we always need a word. And yeah. We always stand on your word. Heavenly Father, I thank you for giving me thank this privilege, this honor to, yeah. to, to, to share, declare, and uh -huh. to deliver your word. I pray, Heavenly Father, that the word is preached today will, will stir hearts, will transform, and will yes. strengthen and comfort. Oh, yeah. These are all blessings I ask in your name. Amen. 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 You may be seated in your presence, Lord. Thank you, Usher. You may also be seated. I want to come with you this morning with the thought with the with the subject Jesus is the gift with your name on it. Amen. Jesus is the gift with your name on it. I say that because it's not just a gift, it is the gift. I didn't say Jesus came with a gift with your name on it. I said that Jesus came is the gift and he has your name on it and he has my name on it. My brother and sister, this is a wonderful time of the year. We like to give and receive presents and we gave out a lot of gifts and presents this morning. Oh yeah. That's all that's all good. At Christmas time we tend to show people how much we love them. We may not show it every day, but at Christmas time, we make sure that we show them how much we love them by giving them gifts. So we give gifts to our family, and we give gifts to our neighbor, and my brothers and sisters, sometimes we even give gifts to strangers. Amen. Yeah. yeah, we do. Yeah. But think about this, and so we think about gifts, we think about in in, first, in, this, in in Matthew where the the Magi came bearing gifts to Jesus, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But the greatest gifts are not the gifts that were brought to Jesus. All right. The greatest gifts 
is not the gifts that we get from one another. Great. The greatest gift is not the gift that we give to friends and family and strangers, my brothers uh -huh. and sisters. The greatest gift is the gift Thank that you. Jesus brought to us. Yeah. He is the gift. Oh, yeah. My brothers and sisters, sometimes we focus on so much on giving gifts, we forget about um, who is the gift. the gift. We love to give gifts, but we 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 forget about who is and still is, my well, brothers and sisters, not was, but still yeah, is yeah. the greatest gift. Uh -huh. Yes, and Jesus is the greatest gift. Jesus is the gift. And yeah. my brothers and sisters, when you receive the gift from the Lord, yeah. oh, yeah. my brothers and yeah. sisters, that wonderful gift, yeah. you will never want to return. Yeah. And you will never be the same. Yeah. I, I remember sometime after <laughs> after Christmas, people go back and give gifts, and, and if you don't like the gift, what you do? Take it back to the store and <laughs> exchange with something else, or take the money. Yeah, but 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 this is not the type of gift that Jesus Amen. is. It, it, once you receive that gift from yeah. Jesus, my brothers yeah. and sisters. <clears throat> You will never want to return it because Amen. it always has what you need and it's always what you need. And all yeah. you have to do is receive that gift. Uh -huh. Just like we see that Mary did in Luke chapter 1, verses 38. Yeah. She said that, be unto me according to thy word. She accepted the gift of Jesus and blessed the world. And so, my brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you this morning. I just want to tell you about three truths here when we look at this passage of Scripture. There's many truths yeah. in Jesus. Uh, I could sit here and talk all day about the truths uh -huh. of Jesus, but I just want to share three with you this morning because of the, the time. Yeah. Jesus is the gift. Yes, he is. But he's not just the gift. <laughs> he keeps on giving. My yeah. brothers and sisters, Jesus is the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. And Jesus is the most wonderful gift that you could ever receive. Really? Remember what Isaiah said about Jesus. He's, he, he said that he's wonderful. He's yeah. a counselor. He's the mighty God. He's the everlasting Father. He is the Prince of Peace. Yeah. Amen. I was thinking about this morning, my brothers and sisters, thinking about Jesus as being the gift, but also Jesus is the greatest presence of all. Not yeah. present of all, presence. Being having Jesus in your life, my brothers and sisters, at Christmas time and any time, He is the greatest yeah. presence. Yeah, presence. He is the greatest present, and He is the greatest presence. All right. We we know in Matthew chapter one verses twenty three, He uh -huh. said that His name shall be called what? Wonderful. Yeah, his name shall be called Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. Uh, he's, he's God with us. He's with us as God, and also he's with us as man. Yeah. God became 100% flesh and blood. He uh -huh. became a man just like us. My brother, yeah. sister, think about this. He is the creator. He spoke the word and created everything, but he became a creation. God. Emmanuel means God right. with yes. us. Yes. He will never stop giving. Let me tell you a okay. short story. When, wow. when Christmas, when I was a small boy, I got this beautiful racetrack. Uh -huh. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Yeah, yeah Hot Wheels. Right. And, it was, and, and it had an orange track. Yeah, and I got that thing on Sunday, under, under that tree on Christmas morning. I hooked that bad boy up, 
<laughs> Ran those cars through there Good all day long. Oh, yeah. But you know what? Uh -huh. By the afternoon, some parts will start breaking down. <laughs> and I ran it to death. Yeah. But, and I remind you, fact, that Jesus, it never stops. Oh, it never stops working. Jesus is always working. Jesus is always giving. And my brothers and sisters, sometimes we can't give all the gifts that we want to give. That's right. No, we can't. We can't give everybody gifts. Amen. Maybe we would like to, but but see, but we can. But I know a man who always give gifts. Yeah. And it never run out. Yeah. And that man is Jesus. Jesus. Sometimes, right. my brothers and sisters, we'll leave folks off the list. Uh huh. Jesus don't leave anybody off the list. Nobody. Oh yeah. no, no, no. Jesus is the gift for everyone. Yeah. Nobody is excluded. Uh -huh. uh, he gives peace, forgiveness, reconciliation with and he gives eternal life. Yeah. He gives eternal life. I'm reminded of what Jesus told the lady. Um, at the well in John 14, he said, if you only knew the gift of God, and who asked for a drink, yeah. you would ask him, and, and he would have given you living water. Yeah. I'm so glad, my brothers and sisters, that this yeah. gift that Jesus gives, he is the gift, and he gives living water. Yeah. That water that will never run yeah. out. Yeah. No matter how thirsty, no matter what you need, uh, he will always supply my brothers oh, yeah. and my sisters. The next thing I want to say, one of the truths I want to say about the gift, uh -huh. capital T gift, not a gift, but the, the gift. This gift is indescribable, and this gift is immeasurable. You can't put a value, my brothers and sisters on this right. gift. Right. No matter how hard you try, All right. no matter what you do, my brothers and sisters, oh, this gift that Jesus brings, Jesus is the gift and he is priceless. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. It is. Oh, my brothers and sisters, all we have to do is receive, and we can receive a priceless gift, a gift that no money, no, that the world could never, ever, ever buy. Yeah, right. he, Jesus is the priceless gift. He is the indescribable gift. You can't describe that gift. Only thing you can do is just say, thank you, Lord. That's all I can do. I can't tell you everything he does for me because he does so much for me. He does things that I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm so glad for this indescribable and this immeasurable gift. Uh, G I remind him of what uh, 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 he said in 2 Corinthians. Paul said in 9.15, he said, yeah. Thanks be unto God for this unspeakable gift. Yeah. This unspeakable gift. Give. My brothers and sisters, we look around here and we see the pretty poinsettias yeah. and all the decorations and all the garland and all the Christmas trees and all the gifts yeah. and the Christmas trees. But my brothers and sisters, what happened to that poinsettia after a few months? Go. Oh, yeah. It looks uh, looking mighty strong, you know, my brother. Yeah, it started looking mighty, <laughs> start looking mighty bad. Pretty now? Yeah. Uh, pretty leaves on it. But by and by, Amen. yeah, everybody, I'm so glad that Jesus is a gift not like that. Jesus Thanks. always shines. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah. He never fades away. Oh, yeah. no. So, so, so it is a wonderful gift. It is a wonderful gift. I'm so glad, my brothers and sisters, because looking at verse 14, it says that, that Jesus came full of grace yeah. and truth. And he possesses all the glory of his Father. Yes, this gift is indescribable. My brothers and sisters, <clears throat> this gift is the most expensive gift ever. Yeah. Given. It is the greatest expression of love 
that was ever given. Jesus, the gift, uh -huh. the gift, gave up everything yes. so that we could have life and that we could live through him. Yeah. He gave the greatest sacrifice that we might receive, my brothers and sisters, I always say that, the greatest reward. Yeah. And the greatest reward that we can ever receive is life with Jesus, my brothers and sisters, right. and that means eternal life. Right. When we have life with Jesus, my brothers and That's sisters, right. we have eternal life. Amen. There is no gift uh -huh. that can match salvation. Right. It comes Amen. from the Lord. Oh, brother, and we get that because of his birth. We get it because of his of his sinless life, because of his death and his resurrection. And my brothers and sisters, the thing I like about this gift, this priceless gift, the gift is that uh, you see, you can't buy it. Amen. It's for everybody. Amen. Think about it if you could think about it if you could buy this gift. Oh uh, yeah, it would just be a terrible, terrible thing. Sure no, we can't earn the yeah. gift. No, no, you must. Earn something. Yes. You must earn yes. something. It's not a. It's not a gift. Right. You know what? It, it, we we go to work for those that work. If you earn something, that means it is a wage. All right. And we know what the wages of sin is. Yes. The wages of sin is death. Yes. Amen. But the gift of God is eternal life yes. through yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Our Lord. I'm so glad my brother is told that I don't have to work. I don't have to have a wage here because yeah. I know my wage is, is, is no ways enough. And so and we know that the wages yeah. of sin is yeah. Yeah. death. But I'm so glad. Okay. My brother yeah. says, my yeah. look over there in Ephesians. I see Ephesians 2 9. It says, by grace. By my grace. brothers. We're saved through faith. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and not of ourselves. It is a gift yeah. from God. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Not that any works that man sure. should boast. My yeah. brothers and sisters, I'm so glad here to tell you if we start to celebrate Christmas and the birth of our Lord and Savior yeah. that yeah. the price has already been paid. Yeah, God. yeah I don't have to work. Uh, salvation is available to everyone. Yeah. 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 Sisters, that's why I say it's a gift. Yes. Yeah. And it has your name on it. Oh, yeah. Has yeah. my name on it. Yeah. All you have to do is receive it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, my, my brothers and sisters, yeah. I, I like it also because uh, here John said that when he, when he came, that he came full of yeah. grace. grace. Yes. Yeah, that word grace. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it means he, he came giving me us. Yeah. Out of us. Better than what we deserve. Sure, right. We didn't deserve it. No. no. We didn't deserve it. Uh -uh. But he came to sacrifice for us anyway. Yeah. He came because out of his love and his compassion um, with, with no merit. No. Right. We, it is not merit, my brothers and sisters. We didn't do anything to earn it. No. But he came full of uh, grace. He gives us what we do not deserve. Right. Let me ask you here this morning, my brothers and sisters, uh -huh. is it wonderful to get a gift and you don't deserve it? It is. It is. It is. <laughs> Think about that. Yeah. yeah. All you have to do is take it, open it, and receive it. Yeah. yeah. The priceless gift. Right. The most yeah. valuable yeah. gift. You don't even, you don't have to do nothing. You don't have to earn it. Yeah, you got to get early in the morning, go to work, or pay so and so, or do all. Oh, no, my brothers and sisters, I'm so glad that what John said, he came full of grace. grace. Based upon God came and he gave us this priceless gift that we did not deserve uh -huh. because of his love, because of his compassion for us. I think about this sometime. I was reading about Islam and I was looking through the book and said, Islam, all these religions, my brothers and sisters, you got to do something. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, they say Islam, you see, gotta pray five times a day. You gotta uh -huh. give alms, uh, give to, uh, alms to the poor, and you got to um, travel to Mecca and bow down and do all this stuff. And then Buddha said, if you be good, you might come back and be uh, uh, reincarnated as a frog or a yeah. dog or a cat. <laughs> but I'm so glad, my yeah. brothers and sisters, my Lord, yeah. my Jesus, yeah. they get with my name on yes. I don't have to do none of that. All I got to do is accept right. my Lord and yeah. Savior yeah. because the price is right. always oh, yeah. already been prayed. Yeah. Thank God, my brothers and yeah. sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, God. Yeah. Thank, God. Thank the Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. And he didn't say he come full of the law. Uh, yes. uh, he didn't say come full of the law. Oh, no. Yeah. He said that he came full of grace. grace. Yes. He came to give me. He came to give you yeah. what we did not deserve. Right. 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 We know Amen. what our wages are. We, 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 we know what our penalty is. That's we right. know what we should be getting. Yeah, that's Thank right. you, Lord. Thank Thank you. You. That's why I'm so glad to celebrate his birthday this month. But I celebrate Jesus every, every, yes. every, every month. Yes. Yeah. He is worthy yeah. to be good. Praise. Amen. And then my last point, my brothers and sisters, I'm going to share with you that, that third truth that I talked about yeah. is that it's a personal gift for you and for me, but that gift must be received. Received. It must be received. I, I, I look back over in Luke chapter 2, verses 10 through 12, and we know what what the angels told um, the, the shepherds when they were out in the field with their flock, he says, I bring you good tidings of great joy, yeah. which shall be for all oh, the people. Right. For unto you this day, yeah. in the city of David, a Savior yes. is yes. born. Yes, yes. and so, uh, see, I like that passage of scripture because it says, yes. for unto you, yes. Yes. a Savior yeah. is born. Born. That's right. All you have to do is receive it. And sometimes think about this this Christmas, my uh -huh. brothers and sisters, when you're cooking that turkey and yeah. making that stuffing and under your Christmas tree, think about that. Unto you, yeah. our Savior is born. Yeah. Substitute that name unto you and yeah. put your name in it. Unto Dexter, uh -huh. our Savior is it's born. born. Yeah. Unto Sherman, yeah. our Savior is born. Is born. Yeah. Unto Marshall, yeah. a Savior is born. Yeah. Uh -huh. Unto the deacons, a Savior is born. Yeah. Unto the preachers, a Savior is born. Yeah. A Savior is born for everybody. Amen. Make it personal, my brothers yeah. and sisters. It is for you. Oh, yeah. Jesus is the gift. Yes, he is. With your name on it. Uh -huh. yeah. All you have to do is receiving. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, brothers and sisters, but when you receive Jesus, there are some, there are some things I talked about that Jesus is the gift and he's a gift that keeps on giving. Uh -huh. say, hmm, what do you mean by that, Mr. Preacher? I can only give you some examples here, but, but let me share something um, with you. Look at verse 12. Amen. But as many as received him, uh -huh. yeah. to them gave he power to become sons uh -huh. of God. Oh, yeah. Even to them that believe on his name. Yeah. Yeah. All my brothers and yeah. sisters, think about that passage. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and yeah. your yeah. Thank personal you. Savior, yeah. he gave us a relationship with the heavenly family. All right. Ah, uh, my brothers and sisters, you may think it's nice. It's good to have family. Yeah. It's good to have biological brothers and sisters, uh -huh. aunts and uncles, cousins yeah. and in-laws and everybody. Uh -huh. But my brothers and sisters, there's nothing better than being adopted into a heavenly family. All right. All right. I'm so glad yeah. this morning that I've been adopted into God's heavenly yeah. family. Yeah. All we have to Redo, yeah. just receive yeah. him. Uh, think about that. Receive him. So when we have guests and we invite them into 
our home. Uh -huh. Christ wants us to do the same thing this morning. He wants us to welcome him and invite him into our home. Invite yeah. him Amen. into Amen. our home. It says in Revelation 3.20, it says, Behold, I stand the door and knock. Yeah. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to so. him and will sup with him and he with me. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, when we receive Jesus, yeah. Yeah. we are adopted yeah. into the family of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. We are an heir. We are a heir. Yeah. All we have to do is receive Jesus, receive Christ oh, yeah. into our heart. We become joint heirs oh, yeah. with the Father. You tell me, is there a better gift than that? No. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. On Sunday, on, on Christmas morning, open those presents and that wrapper is, is, is falling off. Think about yeah. that. Jesus is the yeah. gift. Yeah. And I like that process of scripture from my brothers and sisters is because I don't have a brother. Uh huh. I got one sister. Yeah. But when I gave my life to Christ, yeah. uh, when I become a joint heir yeah. in Christ, my brothers and sisters, I got so many more brothers and sisters. I look, yeah. See, all my brothers and sisters. Yeah. I look around here and see all my brothers and sisters yeah. in Christ. And so although I don't have a biological, Brothers, uh -huh. I've got so much more. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I've got you. Amen. You are my brothers and you are my sisters yeah. in Christ. Amen. That's why I'm so glad that Jesus never stops giving. He's always blessing me. And the thing with my brothers and sisters, if you have a biological brother or sister, sometimes, you know, you know how brothers and sisters are sometimes. Yeah. And then sometimes they pass away, they die, and, and, and we're left alone. But my brothers and sisters, brothers in Christ, yeah. keep on going. Keep on going. Yeah, keep on going. Yeah. So yeah, I, I've got brothers and sisters in Christ in here, and I got brothers and sisters in Christ there, and I got brothers and sisters in Christ everywhere. Yeah. I got brothers and sisters in Christ, my brothers and sisters that I don't even no way. So that's why I'm so blessed. That's yeah. why I'm so glad that I'm in this heavenly family yeah. with yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is the president. Yeah. He is the greatest president. He is the greatest president. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, I say that because think about this. He will never yeah. live here nor forsake you. Yeah. Right. yeah, he will never leave you nor uh -huh. forsake you. Yeah. People will leave you sometime, my brother yeah. and sister. Yeah. And you leave yeah. out the wayside, but this gift in Jesus, the gift, he keeps on giving. Yeah. 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 No matter what I'm going through, the oh, ups and downs, yeah. the highs and lows, the joy oh, and the yeah. sorrows, yeah. the good time and the bad yeah. time, the midnight, yeah. yes, yes. Jesus is always yes, there. He is, he is the yeah. gift. Yeah. That never stops giving. Yeah. He is a gift with your name on it. All you have to do is open the gift. Yeah. Our brothers and sisters, sometimes we fold our arms. Uh -huh. Yeah, we yeah, fold our arms in pride and we, we think we got it going on and when we need Christ, we we turn our back. That's right. We close our hearts. Yeah. yeah. But, but Jesus was good to us. No, he's always oh, there for yes. us. He never turns his back on yeah. us. He That's never right. closes his That's heart right. to us. And then sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we hold our fist up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we got everything. We don't need anything else. We got the power, and, 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 and we have all we need. But if you do that, my brothers and sisters, Christmas time, anytime, when you open your packages, don't think that you got all the power and everything is good. Right. All my brothers and sisters, Jesus is the gift. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is the gift. Yeah. And then sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we get satisfied. Oh, yeah. We start rubbing our stomachs. Uh -huh. We start getting content. Yeah. I've got a big house. i got a nice car. i got yeah. a nice yeah. education. Yeah. and i got all these material things. Yeah. And I get all the presents. I can buy anything I want. Right. But you know what will happen? 
Those things fade away, my yes. brothers and sisters. Those yes. things or those things do not yes. last. You can have them here today and tomorrow they could be gone. No. Or you That's could right. be gone. But Jesus is everlasting. And so Jesus is the greatest gift. He yes. is the greatest present. My yes. brother and father, my brother and sister, he is the gift that never stop giving. Things will fade away. But he is the gift yeah. that lasts forever. He is a gift, my brothers and sisters, yeah. that will never leave you, yeah. never forsake you. Never forsake. He's a gift yeah. that keeps on giving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a gift that brings you into the family Amen. of God. Yeah. And once you're brought into the family of God, yeah. That's the best family Amen. you've ever had. Yeah. So Amen. all you have to do you, is receive. Amen. Jesus is a gift. Yeah. He is the only gift. Thank and you. I ask you this Christmas morning, and as you open those gifts and share with friends and well, relatives, nicely have those presents. It is. All this is beautiful. Yes. But the most important thing, never uh -huh. forget, is the gift. The gift. Receive the gift. Amen. Jesus Amen. has a gift for you. Yeah. And it has your name on it. Yeah. It has my name on it. Yeah. All you have to do is receive it. Yes. Oh, yeah. And once yeah. you receive this gift, I'm here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, yes. I can testify, I can tell you. Yeah. There is no gift. No gift. That's right. Like Jesus. Amen. He is the greatest gift. Amen. And he's the greatest presence. Amen. And God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Paul said, all of us, before coming to Christ, have lived in hostility yeah. with God. Uh -huh. Whether you know it or not, if you haven't set the peace of God through Christ Jesus, yeah, man. you're still an enemy sure of God. God. Amen. And God does not want you to be an enemy. He wants you to be a friend. Yes. Because yes. he will stay closer. Yes, he will. Down to God. Or brother. That's right. So if you're here today, we want to invite you. We offer you uh -huh. Jesus. Amen. As a choir, you shall lead us to stand to our feet. Yeah.
you keep giving in to. Yeah. That drug, that alcohol, that lust, fleshly desire. And God never said it was going to be easy. It's a struggle. Because the Bible tells us there's pleasure in sin for a season. And it seems like that when season changes, yeah. that world, it's going to change soon. But some of us have all season sin. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know how in the winter we wait for the spring, the spring, the summer, the summer, the fall? Uh, right. But some of us find ourselves in a, a perpetual state of sin to the point where right, we can't get out of it. Says, I can help you yes. Yes. if we allow him. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something, and we're gonna pray. There's some of you may be thinking that God is going to take your addiction away. Yes, 